Who controls the, the way that African Americans are delineated in, in the public? Who is saying that you have to be gangster, you know? Why is that? Why can't we break out of the box? Black is not sagging your pants, you know, or, or thinking that you're gangster. Smart is the new gangster. I'm tired of feeling sorry for who I am. And like, I wanted to learn about what my people have done because black is Black Panthers, black is Malcolm X, black is so much more than this little square that they've given us. Juan, you going to Unity? All right. Unity is a club that addresses the diversity at Pali and just a spot for people to feel welcome and talk about some of the things that they face here at Pali, being a minority, you know, and being in a predominantly white school. We're being taught that who we are is not good enough. Why is there an achievement gap? We think like just because we're minorities, we don't need to have, we don't need to have A's, we don't need to have B's, C's and D's are fine for us, as long as we're passing. That's like, we let that happen. Like, I think that's partly true, but take into consideration that we are in a system that has been pre-designed for Caucasian students. We are, we are foreigners in this system. We all enter kindergarten just ready to learn, you know, excited about kindergarten. But you'll see that passion dies and we become extremely vociferous and just loud in class. But we weren't that way in kindergarten. We, we've been pushed to the back of the class one too many times. We've been told that we're wrong so many times and we feel that we're fulfilling the stereotype of being stupid if we raise our hands. So we become ensnared in this trap. So the topic for today is, are we free? One day in history class, I said, I'm tired of coloring this European map. This is the seventh one I've done in a row. When are you gonna give me a map of Africa? And he said, oh, um, just wait until 10th grade, then you'll get it. So that made me mad. I was like, okay, I'm not drawing this anymore. I'm not gonna color this in. I'm not gonna succeed in this class because I don't wanna learn about more European history because I had learned all the stuff before. We are just as important as any white student. We're just as important as any Asian student. Just because we don't have good grades doesn't mean that we're hopeless. During the slave times, slaves were taught that they had nothing, that they were, had no history and that they were of little importance. And you can kind of see that playing out today. How many of us have learned about our history? How many Latinos in here have learned about the Mayans and the Aztecs and the great things that they've done during school? How many Asian Americans have you seen who have changed their names just to fit in? Why aren't they proud of who they're from? Why don't they rock their name? She's like, oh, I changed my name, Christina. And I'm like, why do you do that? She's like, oh, just so we don't like, you know, seem different so people can pronounce our names so we fit in more. But isn't America the quintessential perfect place for diversity so accepting? Kevin likes to bring up topics that aren't necessarily on the agenda. Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, Martin Luther King Jr., all those guys were educated. They knew what they needed. He takes us places that we hadn't, hadn't intended to go, but he does a really good job. If you're religious and you were to wear, let's say, a yarmulke to school, what would people see you as? If you were to pray as a Muslim and get down and pray during school, what would people think of you? Have you guys ever been in a position where you feel like you've had to compromise your culture and your identity to fit in? I think the big thing for white people to do is be able to accept minorities who don't assimilate and don't change the way they look, don't change the way they dress, don't change the way they talk. It's going to be really difficult and it is going to take time if we actually want to make some sort of change. But we want, we need to have that desire to do it and to do it together too. I feel like I've done something when I see people being proud of their culture. That's what we need to do, is to take a bite of the apple, the knowledge, and realize where we stand and where we need to go. Barack Obama's great, but we can go so much farther, you know? And that's people everywhere. That's, that's the queer community, that's the Latino community, that's the white community, that's the Jewish community, that's the black community. We can do so much better. So, get to know us, because we will be here forever. So. <laughs>